What's up, guys? There we go. What's up, guys? So, got another Shoki Quickie today, and it is another Power Rangers Lightning Collection from Hasbro. It's just the way I talk now. And I just picked this one up from GameStop. Uh, it's been on for a little while, but hey, it is what it is. It's my first real foray into more of the MMPRs. You know, we looked at the uh, Walgreens Zack last time, but this time we've got Jason, the Red Ranger. So, obviously, we got the uh, Lightning Collection boxes here. We got the really nice image of the Jason here. And Lightning Collection right there. It says Mighty Morphin Red Ranger. Correct. That is it. And you even got a little head sculpt there of Austin St. John, which is pretty cool. And, you know, you got some basic effects, same kind of hands. Looks like he only comes with fist hands. That's strange. And I am itching to see the comparison between this and the Legacy, because I've had the Legacy for a long time now. And I also have the Armored Red Ranger version to compare with the Power Sword. So we'll see how a direct comparison works. Now, I've been sleeping on these a little bit. I'm just going to be honest. So, like, there's also the... Uh, there was the limited edition Jason. Oh, what was it? A, a Jason, it was a Jason two pack, if I remember correctly. It was his Red Ranger body and then his Gold Ranger body. And I think that's the one that came with the combined Power Blaster. And that was a SDCC exclusive a couple years ago. Um, if I remember correctly. So that was a pretty cool set, I guess. But they also have the Gold Ranger that is out right now that is actually the tray. Gold Ranger from Zio. I don't need a whole nother set of Zios. What I'm doing these for, getting the MMPRs, is for a Boom Comics representation since um, we have Draken, we have the Ranger Slayer, and those are straight up from the Boom Comics, both uh, um, Go Go and regular. And it looks like he does come with some of these silly lightning effects one thing that really does annoy me but uh let's flip the camera around and see how bad this one is because uh there's definitely some pain mishaps on this guy so droop. all right so here we go there he is and of course the packaging you guys know how i like to do this now so let's pop out the fists just be honest here probably not going to use those i don't know i might use the right hand because he's going to be holding the sword so it is what it is. Now, the funny thing is, pretty much any of them that are MMPR that have different hands, you can swap them out. They're all the same. Get the uh, Let's get the sword out. It does look a little stubby, if I'm honest. I'm just hoping it's not flimsy. Oh, it's definitely not flimsy. Okay, so we already have a marked improvement over the Bandai version, because it's not a flimsy rubber. This is a decent uh, stiffness to the plastic, which I'm already a fan of. Let's just keep that going. Got a Blade Blaster, which is extremely similar to the one we had last time with Zack, but once again, no silver paint added to it. Okay, we have the Jason Head Sculpt, which is actually a pretty decent uh, sculpt for good old uh, Austin here. Except uh, this is a little nasty under here. Decently painted hair, that is definitely the style he was rocking in the early seasons of uh, Power Rangers. It's okay, some digital face paint. It's not terrible. Let's see if I can get this silly lightning effect out of here. Now, uh, the weapons are fine, like decent, and then this is not. So I think Lord Zed is one of the only ones that suffers from a weak weapon. Like his staff just kind of sucks. Um, I think that's how it goes. I don't know, hold on. I gotta thread the needle, so to speak, here. I'm not entirely certain how this goes through, to be totally honest with you guys. But I guess that's, I mean, it looks okay. Also, it looks really silly, but it is what it is. I'm not a giant fan of these effect parts. I know they've been using them with the Marvel figures for a while as well. Look at that, some of the silver paint scraped off. I don't think it was just from this, but it did. So, you know, there's, there's your nice coral effect if you're down for that. So let's get the actual ranger body out here and see what's going on. Get out of there we go. Let's 
You gotta birth them. Come on, get out of there, buddy. Come on, come on. Ah, here we go. Yeah, check that way over there. All right, so let's see, what do we got? Uh, one thing I did notice in hand, in the box, I should say. And hold on, my tripod is a little wonky. Let's, let's just fix that there. Okay, so uh, yeah, some black paint missing right there, but you know what? He was available and had a $5 coupon. So yeah, that right there just kind of missed with the thing. Yeah, get a little more light over here. Um, otherwise, it's, I mean, it's pretty good sculpt. So this is my first regular, just everyday MMPR Ranger. So the shoulders, uh, you know, we got some nice, whatever those neck muscles are called. And then like the shoulders just sort of drop off. Uh, but thinking about it, like every other Ranger I've got right now from the Lightning Collection has some type of mantle going on. Whether it's the Black Ranger, the, uh, or Lord Draken, or even the Ranger Slayer. And I just found this interesting. So the butterfly joint isn't painted white, it's white plastic so that it blends in really well there. Now, obviously it doesn't have the giant muscular build of the Legacy, but it is still slightly strange in proportion just due to this. So if you like range, range the arms up, I guess that's okay, but still it's a little bit weird, not gonna lie. Every, everything's really stiff. Like I said, this figure's been out for a little while. Um, a little, little like nub going on right there on the chin. It is what it is. Uh, the rest of the paint is okay. There's no real fine line work going on here. Black paint on the thing there. I really wish they had actually just traced out all of these lines and look a little bit better. Because I mean the uh, the Legacy, I'm sorry, Lightning Collection Red Ranger helmet just came out and it's okay. Just depending on the uh, reports. Uh, let's see. Swap out his head. Whoa. Hey, hey, come back here. <laughs> that was, that was crazy. I guess sometimes that's just a little bit wonky. Let's just be honest here. Okay, so let's cram that on his head. So, technically cram it on his body. That actually doesn't look terrible. That, that's not bad. There's one, one thing that they're pretty good at. They're just the ridiculous torso. Uh, they got like a Goro torso from the original live action Mortal Kombat movie going on. Just way too long. And I appreciate the ab crunch down here, but I feel like it's actually unnecessary if you just give us a double ball joint in the chest. So if you give us this with a double ball joint up here, I don't need this ab crunch here. I can get the swivel, I can do everything else. I feel like this just adds like six mil that's unnecessary. You know, it makes everything out of proportion. Just a bit. Like it's just, like if you were to just trim this area down a little. And like I said, we already, we pretty much, articulation is what it is. It's almost kind of pointless to go over it. I do miss the forearm rotation, but because they changed proportions of the arms from the way the uh, legacy is, you know, it, it's more human, but also uh, limits the articulation. He does have just holding hands right now. Like I said, we had the fist hands as well. Let's see, where's my blade blaster? Anybody else always love the idea that they had just a standard weapon uh, that they could use and then they were given their like more extreme power weapons? So everybody's good here. Let's see if the thighs rotate. Sometimes it gets stuck. That's pretty good. Super stiff knee joint? Nope, actually. This is funny. That's the opposite of what the Red Black Ranger did. Black Ranger did the bottom section, not the top section. So let's just get that moving. That's pretty good. And the... Uh, the black shield the black dragon shield ranger has been out for a long long time and it's just been sitting at walgreens now he does have the tiny morpher which is actually slightly off either by the paint or the mold it's just ever so slightly off but i don't know if you can tell but that actually does have yeah right there you can tell that is a t-rex coin so that's pretty cool that's actually pretty cool so let's pull this head back off and slap this back on there here we go so it's like they look good and they also look funny at the same time it's it's a weird balance so let's see sword here nice molded details there's a hair or something right there you guys can see right there that's not good uh got the t-rex coin there no gold filigree happening molded uh <laughs> 
it's a nutty bar handle if you know what i'm talking about <laughs> it's totally a nutty bar that's funny i just love the seriously the fact that this is just a real stiff hard plastic is awesome now do you think that's going to mean that there might be some paint scratchage down the line but it also means that the weapon will not sag from gravity or be warped just by using it um so let's set him up there and i'll be right back well for you it's going to be instant for me it's going to be like a couple minutes okay so now we have the legacy red ranger and you can see the clear size difference oh, trying to get him to stand the feet are always just a little bit wonky so you gotta find that balance in the feet okay so the legacy red ranger who is very loosey-goosey let's just be honest here you can see the huge size difference and obviously it's a much older figure what i'm just having problems today chairs and whatnot but you can see that the molding for the morpher was always better the fact that that's bigger the proper torso kind of uh scaling makes more sense now the really awkward shaped forms and stuff like that it is what it is the fact that this is lacking the silver teeth picked out on the helmet okay fine but you know it, it like i said it's this is simultaneously better and worse you also get the blade blaster that's folded with some silver paint on it unlike that one um and i think that that's not really going to fit in that holster or might but it's going to be uh sticking out quite a bit also the difference is in the red this is a deeper red this is a brighter red and also slightly more reactive to the light but let's talk about that good old bendy sword so this is literally the sword from the armored uh, Red Ranger, but you can see how it's got just a hair bit more paint with the blue blue bits there But the T-Rex coin kind of sucks uh, It looks more like a dragon if I'm honest. It's just they didn't get the gold paint entirely in there So the one thing this one is lacking over here is just the tiny bit of blue Metallic paint for those gems. I can probably do that and also this one has a red handle that one has a black handle I believe the black handle is more accurate. This also has just a little bit of a thing happening right there so i mean you can see the length is significant but i think it's still uh pretty much in scale uh the details are crisper on this even though it's smaller and this just looks better and feels better this is just a hair more deco but the obvious problem of it just being a floppy floppy mess so let's bring in zach from last time for comparison so we'll have some mmpr action happening here we got some multi-ranger action now of course the black ranger doesn't disappear into the black background but it is what it is and you know this let's, let's just let's just let's just find a a happy middle ground for the uh sword effect let's see if i can run it through here and be cool with it I mean, there's got to be a very specific route that has to pass through, right? Like, it's like it just, it's like it wants to go through here, right? But then you get to the end and it's just nowhere to be found. Like, come on. Uh, see, that's like stretching it out funny. I don't know. It's uh, one reason I have a problem with these. Like, the, uh, the new McFarlane Batman... Uh, White Knight, dang it, uh, Azrael comes with a fantastic flame effect that's actually molded in more rigid plastic, and it looks like real fire and stuff like that, and it just fits better over his sword. This is like just asking for annoyances. You also get, you know, different flame effects or lightning effects depending on who's doing what, but these guys do look good. And I think I'm basically going to have to isolate my lightning collection from my um, legacy collection as it goes. But that's going to be it for this review, guys. Hope you have enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about these. Do you think they're superior to the lightning co or the legacy collection? Or, you know, are they just okay and they're about the same? Let me know what you think down below. And if you've got anything that you've ever had problems with, 
you know, with the slime? Also, let me know down below. But that's going to be it, guys. I'll catch you on my next one. Remember, as always, empower. Be with you.